Hi folks, Jeff from Orange Acres Cars and today I'm going to show you this 1982 Ford F-250 and that little dog running over there, his name is Fox Martin. But uh, let's take a look at this Ford here. You can see it's got a custom brush guard, it's got the 8 lug wheels, it's got a flatbed on the back. And uh, this is a, a 3 quarter ton, it would have been the heavy 3 quarter ton because it's got the 8 lug wheels on it. And I'm going to try to pace off this bed for you. I think this truck was a short box originally. But this bed is a longer bed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. About seven and a half, and I wear a size 12. So, you know, it's it's gonna be a pretty pretty long. I mean, if it's a short box, then it's the bed's actually a little longer than what what it was. Or if it's a, it might be a full eight foot. I'm not sure. I don't have to get a tape measure and measure that out. But that's pretty cool if it's a short box with a with a uh, a longer bed on it because that'd be handy for getting around in the mountains. And that's why I'm showing it here next is wood because this truck would be great for hauling wood. You can see it's got a stinger on the back here. All the lights work on it. Uh, it's got a real cool Ford emblem built into the fat flatbed there. A little storage box on each side with a little latch for pa uh, putting a padlock on them. So you can lock your weed in there. That's it. You can put your weed in there. And uh, let's pop it up. Take a look inside here. It's got power windows, folks. Hey, 1982. Power windows and these door panels were state of the art. It's got the back seat in the back. So you can put the kids in the back. Go kids and firewood. Hey, slave labor starts at home. You know, get them kids out there. Hey, no childhood obesity in my family because if my dad worked my ass off. That's just the way it was. My back is still screwed up from it. You can see it's got the dual fuel tank switch there. I'm not sure what they put there. Yep, there's your two fuel tanks. It's got locking caps on them. It's got every accessory you can need. The odometer reads 75079. It's got a little wear on the brake pedal. Ah, what does that mean? Well, I doubt it's 75,000 actual. It's probably 175, could be 275, could be a million 75. You just never know in these things. Anything over 10 years old is federally exempt. So I could tell you whatever I want, but I'm just going to tell you I don't know. So that's it. Let's check that out. Pioneer Tape Deck. That was like $400 in 1983. Who knows? Let's go take a look here. It's got the lights on the top. Triple gun rack. Is that a gun in the back of your truck? Yeah, it's a real gun. No, I don't have a permit for it. Do you got a permit to ask stupid questions? Yep, that's a real gun rack right there in the back of your truck, so you can put your guns right back up there. That's the best part about Montana. You can carry your guns right out at Nope and let everybody know. See this AR-15? You try to steal from this car a lot, I'm going to blow your head off. That's just the way our... And God we trust, the rest we uh, have titles. So if you got to trade in, bring that. And uh, and we believe in God and we believe in forgiveness. And that's why when we catch people stealing here at Orange Acres. We, we shoot them dead and then we tell God that we forgive them. So that's just the way it goes. But check out this truck. It's a beauty. It's got a 350 under the hood. Oh, let me pop the hood. There's something wrong with the hood latch. She's not perfect. You got to pull this doodad here with a pair of pliers. And I don't leave my pliers here, but it's got a 351 under the hood. Come take a look at it. It's pretty clean. Um, it's got a brake controller. It's got two brake controllers. Oh, I know. I guess that's a sound explorer. I don't know what that is, but then there's got the brake controller there. Oil pressure gauge. Sounds real good. Uh, it's got worn hubs. The hubs have been replaced with uh, the worn hub package. So, we want to come take this one first, Ben. 3705466. Thanks for tuning in, Jeff from Orange Cars. Uh, uh, we're located on Highway 93 North, 5 miles south of Arley, 13 miles north of Missoula, right on Highway 93 North at mile marker 13. Give me a call if you want to take a look at this one. I'm just a one-man show. And if I'm on vacation, I'm on vacation. Thanks for tuning in.